day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Some people get offended and leave the, the, the ministries, right? But they never ever talk about they got offended in their job to the point. I'm talking about majority of people. I ain't talking about just, there's a few. There's some people who get offended in any area and they just walk away, they quit and everything else, right? But they'll get offended more so in the ministry and leave look leave leave christ all together because of what a ministry did because somebody in the ministry didn't act a certain way you get so mad that you walk away because of what somebody did not not focus on christ and i think the whole and look look for us those who are doing virtual ministry let's make this deal the intent of this ministry and a lot of ministries should be as well is to equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. And as to equip you to do the work of the ministry is for you to not take offense toward what people do. Because you're not following people. You're not trying to please people. But some of us got to the point where they want people, they want to please people, and they want people to please them. And if you don't please them, they want you to go. Or they'll walk away from you because you're not pleasing them. And I'm telling you, man, it's not about people. It's about Christ. It's about the anointing. It's about God the Father. It's about the Holy Spirit. It's, it's, it's you, those, you're supposed to please God. I like in Hebrews of what, uh, 11, 6 said, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Who? God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a reward of those who diligently seek him. Our focus is to know him and the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering, but to get to know him. That's, you, you, you're supposed to please him. And you don't please them through works. You don't please them through legalism. You please them by bearing, bearing the fruits of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. What, what are those spirits again? I talked about those characteristics again. I'm talking about the fact is in uh, he, Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now, the fruit of the Spirit, we're talking about the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no laws. That's what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to operate under the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to sit there and please God. We don't please people. But I'm saying is, man, I was sitting there, and, and the reason I, I want to, do some talking first is that there was a I, I had a conversation with a young man the other day and what i saw or what i asked about is the anger that that at least i was seeing uh with people concerning uh, the Bible, you know, uh, concerning, how would I say, uh, they, they were focusing on, or I was focusing on, and so let me break it down clearer uh, than that. I was focusing on the, <laughs> the, the, the person, and I, I was talking about racism, and 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 I don't I don't I don't want nobody to get too deep on. I wanted to talk about the fact is that the it, the running a pursuit of money 
they didn't call it capitalism when they started the slave trade, but the slave trade was was based on trying making profits. I think we all agree with that, right? It was all about making money. And and to ease the conscience of some people, they incorporated these different uh, I call it uh, racism to to justify how you treated a person as property opposed to being a human being. And that takes a lot, really, when you think about it. When you take a fellow human being and you treat them as animals, and then you, but then you treat them worse than animals the way you talk about the, with the lynching, you're talking about the whipping, you're talking about the mutilation, you, uh, you're talking about the raping, you know, that, that, that and then on top of that, I'm talking about the just the 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 uh, when when this this the psychological effect of when people sit there and I was talking to the young man about it was people have because we don't do those things like talking about today, at least at the at the, at the scale that was done. Uh, the anger and hate of frustration and, and racism now is the fact that they, the, I call it, and I told some people on the Bible study before, the water fountain effect. What I mean by the water fountain effect, what I'm saying is, during the Jim Crow laws, there was, there was the, you, you know, you had a, a white water fountain and then you have color, people of color water fountain. Uh, you had people that are supposed to, uh, walk in the, you know, people of color supposed to be supposed to walk in the back door, uh, order the food and leave, uh, or they go through the back door, they'll go through the front door. Uh, they, they were supposed to, in the height of slavery time, and I don't know about Jim Crow, but in the height, at least uh, the, the height of slavery time, uh, they're not supposed to be able to look into the eyes of people that was called white. And 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 when I, I was saying is that the ism was really based on uh, giving poor whites something that they could uh, say, I have something, right? I may not, I may be low, but I'm not lower than these people. And that and that's that same type of atrocity and, and, and play and games happen even when you talk about even immigrants that came into this country. And then some of them caught on to the fact that, well, I may be an immigrant, but because of my complexion, the skin, you know, I'm not as low as they taught, tell, telling us about these people. And then what you had was division. Because I was talking about the fact is that with, with, with uh, the rich people, whether they uh, white or black or color uh, or different nationalities, it's, it's almost like they say like 1% holds like 90 some percent or 99 percent of the wealth of this of this world uh in this country uh the one percenters right and then after the one percenters is, is this these other economical economic classes of people so you had and that like i said that really uh is the real nature of the, of the beast uh but but poor people they, they keep poor people from, I guess, demanding more or whatever is a, to, to create this division, this wall of division and, and trying to tell people, well, we, you, you're not, you, you, we're going to give you privileges. We're going to give you a water fountain. And the water fountain has no value. I, I was telling somebody, uh, the, the, telling somebody that, that, that you're, you're better than somebody else gives, does not put food on the table. And, and they know that. And there's people who will be fighting to, to, to maintain a social construct that does not really give them anything. I was telling that you got, now you got, you got, you have, uh, while, while some people sit there and play with the colors of the skin, you got people that are, uh, people of color that are billionaires. And yet, we got we tell the, the people 
of, of, of lower class, lower, lower economic class, but now with different colors of skin, but you know, you, you got to protect your position, your social construct. See, you, you, you better than these people, but in reality, somebody that has, is a billionaire that's of a different nationality or different color, uh, you, you know, uh, you, you can, you can look down here and, and, and perceive that you have some type of, uh, leverage, but in reality is your economics that, that gives you and position you and place you in, in the different social economic places in the society. And, and you, you, you got to realize that. And then I was telling the person that you got a middle class and you have a lot of uh, people of color, people that are white, people of different nationalities in the middle class. And in the middle class, you even got them, you got upper middle class, lower middle class, right? And, and, and But those people have education, those people go to college, those people have houses, homes, they, but they, they're not, they're not, they're not poor uh, blacks or poor whites. They're not dealing and getting caught up with drugs. They're not getting it. And, and they, they, they do go to private schools. And yet that, that, that group down here still start fighting over crumbs, trying to say I'm better than you, and, and then they have to hate. I mean, I'm talking about the fact is you got people, and especially I'm talking about people of lower income. You know, they, they were talking about that, we'll see. Uh, when, when they're talking about it during the, 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 the campaign with, uh, In the presidency of uh, of of Donald Trump, they were talking about the fact that he he loved the uneducated uh, uh, people that support him, right? Uh, whether they lower middle class, lower they they poor, uh, undereducated, or they could be educated, but they you know that uh, they could be middle class, I guess, too, right? Uh, but the fact is that he loved those people, and 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 the point is, those people were interested in maintaining the people. I think the people with the Charlottesville was interested in maintaining a social construct, not knowing that you you're not you're not impacting a. Black being being there, a Hispanic being there, a Asian being there, uh, a, 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 a Jew being there, because see they 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 have a rise, right? They got their millions, their billions, they got their mansions, they got their business. I mean, it's people moving up, getting their education, and moving up in our society, and where you got groups in there trying to find a way. To, to maintain a social construct that puts no food on the table, does not elevate them at all. Now, someone's going to say, well, see, you're taking my job. I mean, you're talking about when you go about the old racism, you're talking about people sit there and say, well, they're taking my job. And I mean, there's, people been, there's been riots in the street of poor people fighting the social construct, fighting for social construct that tells them that they're supposed to have and the other group, the group, and you know, when they play a little strat stratifying, the other group is supposed to have nothing, or at least not have something without first the other people having it. And yet those people, I mean, I mean, that what happened to Black Wall Street, right? I mean, these people got so jealous. These people were striving and thriving, excuse me, and doing great. And, and, and the people were so jealous that they burnt down a successful group of people. They did that because they were told that those people are not supposed to be successful. And therefore now we got these different angers and, 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 and frustration toward people fighting a social construct that has really no real 
tangible evidence of being real. See, there's no, there's no more profit. You being being this social construct we put on the side because there's an economic social construct or, or economic uh, levels. Maybe that's not. Maybe maybe they that, made that's the economics is not a social construct because it's really driven by what what you how much you have right is 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 i can buy a boat i can buy a mansion because of my income right so when we talk about social construct we're talking about where people from nationalism and all of the other things that somebody is better based on a a given social construct right and that given social construct uh is is causing people to hate somebody and I, i'm talking about that stuff is in, where do you understand what coming from now it's so embedded that people i mean you know it was embedded hundreds of years ago uh in the 60s in the 50s in the 40s and all the 1900 after the war the jim crow laws and all that other stuff we're talking about even in the 2020s the 2022s we're talking about still talking about something was stolen knowing and when they're talking about stolen they're talking about you didn't have the right to determine who we want to be president you 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 were never given it what you don't supposed to have that right so we we're upset because somehow you you became the decision maker and selecting a president, so therefore it must have been stolen. I mean, that's, uh, I guess that's where that come from. But but the point is that this type of mentality, when we're talking about believers, because that's what we're really going to get to, right? The believer. What is the believer reaction? What fruit does the believer supposed to? Dis demonstrate and not just dealing with something by from a political perspective let's talk about life itself when when things don't go our way what does a believer do well he's supposed to bear fruit and you you can and see you got you got some believers that sit there no i'm gonna i'm gonna act like a fool i'm gonna be angry i'm gonna throw a chair I'm gonna slap my wife or my husband under the refrigerator. I'm gonna curse somebody out. See, when you do that, you gotta ask yourself, what fruit of the spirit, the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the gentleness, the goodness, faith, meek temperance against such as the law, what part of that is being demonstrated? And don't you understand that people walk go by more than what you do? than what you say. You can call yourself a Christian all day long, but are you doing what Christ told you to do? Or are you doing what your flesh tells you to do? Are you doing what people tell you to do? If you dislike something, do you supposed to not bear the fruits of the spirit? Are you supposed to bear the works of the flesh? Think about it. Where did that come from? Where in our because you're running people away from the ministry because they see the anger and the bitterness that you have in meaning you're not bearing fruit and he said that and that's what we're gonna bring these scriptures in. he said i never knew you look at this i'm gonna bring this up i talked long enough i i i wanted to try to sit there and try to get a pattern and telling you that we as believers need to bear the fruit of the spirit we need to follow and be Christ-like, because Christ is the way, the truth.